Hey guys, it's Killswitch95, and today we got a tier 9 game on Westfield South Spawn and my favorite tank in the game, the T55A. I don't play it much because I don't want to ruin its stats, and also I'm not that great in it, but it is my favorite tank. And immediately I notice, ooh, Type 59G. Check it out, guys. Somebody spent $100 in less than 10 seconds. Woohoo! Awesome. I hope his purchase was well worth it. So, Westfield, South Spawn, Medium Tank, K0. Same as Westfield, North Spawn, Medium Tank, K0. But, I'm not as fast as a T-54, which means I'm not as fast as a Standard B, which means I'm not going to get there before they do, even though I do have a better engine and terrain resistance. So, I'm going to kind of have to start out second line, because if I try and commit the K-0, I'm probably going to die before I get there. Which is kind of the awkward thing with the 55A, which is, yeah, your gun is great, your mobility is great to an extent, except for speed, top speed, but your frontal hull armor is, like, get a cheeky shot on ABR, is less than the T-54, which means you are much less capable of bouncing shots unless you really angle it. Which means that, in my experience, this play is more of a weird kind of cross between a T-54 and a Leopard. Like, it's not fast like a Leopard, the gun's not as accurate as a Leopard, but it can't brawl like a 54 can in the armor department. It's got the gun for it, but the armor's not quite there. That said, though, the turret is really good, and if I can get in a position where I can use it, it's a really strong tank. Okay, gun, can you not do that, man? Please? Like, I'm aiming here. Why you do this to me? I'm aiming here! Why you fuck me over like this? Okay, EBR is where an EBR is gonna go. That's another reason why I didn't commit to K0, because I saw they had EBRs, which means we were gonna get spotted and shit on before we got there. Looking in the north while I'm watching the mini-map. Looks like we got a... We're potentially going to lose the north. Because it looks like they got a lot of stuff over there. And they control more than half of it. But we'll just have to see uh, what our stirve does. So admittedly, the first half of this game is going to start out pretty fucking boring. Because I'm playing more the reactionary. I don't really have the armor to push the aggressive plays, so I'm going to more or less react to what they do. Now, reacting doesn't always work. Lots of times, if you react and just react, you're going to end up just losing. But, in this map, I'm going to try and shoot D50, get him inside. It was green, man! It was green! Okay, maybe I can track him. Meh, fuck it, I'll take damage. That works. But on a map like Westfield, where luckily there's no arty in this match because there's not really any cover and it's actually kind of open. And I don't really have the armor to be aggro in the open, so... I'm gonna have to... Where did everybody go? Everybody died. Okay. Okay. So it's just me and the uh, 430 here. And I can't really run away. And then in my experience, if I did, we would just lose because we're losing the south. So me and the 430 is going to have to hold this. Luckily, there is a divot here, which I think I can go hold down on. And I'm going to try and save my 430 because he has better armor than I do. And his gun, in some respects, is more powerful. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to spam heat at this, all of this, because, uh, fuck credits, I don't want to bounce. Come on, dude, fall back, I'm trying to save you here. Get the kill on the Type 59, that's good, we need those need to run away. 
dude. I'm covering your retreat, but if you stay right there, you're gonna fucking die, and I'm next, and this isn't gonna work. Oh, it was green, man! Why do E50s suddenly have armor all of a sudden? Like, what? what is this? Cool, I bounce. Nice. Mm. There we go. Bounce off the 59G. He hits the dirt. Ooh, man, you paid a hundred dollars to shoot the dirt. I see the EBRs over there. I don't know if he's stuck or what, but need to get a shot on him. Looks like the stir of and chat's having a good game so far. Well, that immediately puts me not getting top damage this game. Oh, well. Well, you know what? If I can just not die along with this 430, I think this will be a pretty solid match. Ah, uh, can I get one? Ah, oh, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting, man. I need to get a shot into this 430 to help out our ELC. Aim, weak spot. Fuck off. Fucking Bobject. There we go. Hey guys, let's take a tier 10 and give it a 122. And let's make it a tier 9. Gee. <laughs> Uh, damn, that's a lot of green. What is... Oh, I forget. The E50's actually got a cheese turret because I've been bouncing off of it. But yeah, fucking 430. <laughs> oh, Wargaming. Never stop. Okay, you're getting fucked. Can you, like, fall back? No, I don't mean affirmative. Ah, oh, whatever. Fucking radio menu changes when the tank's on it. When your mouse is on the tank or not. Alright. So someone's still in the hill on K0. That's neat. 430's over there. That's neat. 59G's over there. That's neat. So is there still someone in K0 here? That's neat. Alright, so... This is pretty simple. We're going to go unspotted. We're going to go down from over here to over here and then come across under here, under this guy, come up, kill this guy, turn around, and then kill this guy. Like it. That's simple, right? Like, that should be easy to do, although, <laughs> oh, when I have a plan, it often goes to shit really fucking quick for some reason that I didn't think of. Haha, <laughs> because World of Tanks. Or the gun just doesn't work and I end up dying and getting ammo racked because memes. But looks like I did not get spotted. That's neat. Uh, am I gonna get spotted? No. Okay, so then the standard B is so far in the fucking bushes looking at K6, he doesn't know I'm over here. That's neat. Oof. Oof, man. He spent a hundred bucks to get fucking heat spanned by a T-55A and a gold-colored tank. Oof. Alright, so where's the standard B? I know he's over here. I don't want to get auto-reloaded. Die. Awesome. That's neat. Oh. Uh, and a 430 died. Nice. GG. Good job, 430. <laughs> Me and you held that flank. Good job getting back. I thought you were a gunner. I did not think that was going to work out, man. 3,909 damage. Not terrible. Not the best, but hey, that's pretty decent. 375 assistance. Three kills. Got the two Type 59s and the standard B. That's pretty solid. I lost 43,000 credits, but fuck it. 
literally just fuck it. Third class mastery badge because that was a good game, but that wasn't a great game. So, how did I do? Second in the game for damage. Who got first? That Sturve did 7,300 fucking damage. Whoa. Oh, I, I don't want to get that dude's replay, but it's a fucking stir replay, so he probably sat in one spot. I don't know. But that dude had a fucking ball. All right. Yeah. Holding the line in the T-55A. I did not expect that to work out at all. I thought we were just going to be kicking and screaming until we died, but somehow we pulled that through. Good job to the stir in the north. Like, if we didn't win the South, I was pretty sure we were going to get flanked by the North, and either way, dies. So, good game to him. Really good game to him. And good job to that 430, being able to retreat. So, with that in mind, I'll see you on the next one.